Hi friends, today is all about dolphins and we're gonna continue our fun by making a really neat dolphin art project. So all you'll need to get started is a piece of paper, something to draw with, I have a black marker here, and then I've got my crayons. Did you know that uh, most dolphins are a grayish color? So I've got my gray crayon. They all can also be a little bit bluish gray, maybe black and white. And then there's one type of dolphin that is even pink, the Amazon River dolphin. So if you wanted to make an Amazon River dolphin, and you could get out your pink crayon. Well, let's get started. I'm gonna walk you through making a dolphin and then we're gonna add something really neat to the end so our dolphin can jump out of the water, okay? So I want you to make a big frown but leave a little bit of room at the top of your paper for your dolphin's fin, okay? Now I want you to go to the left side of your frown and we're going to make our dolphin's nose. Did you know that's called a beak? Yeah, so we're going to just make a short line out and then curve it back in. And then I want you to, to make another frown on the inside of your dolphin. That's the underneath part of his body, okay? Now we're gonna work on our dolphin's tail. So I want you to make a short line out to the left, go over here to the right, make a short line out to the right, and then we're going to bring it in for our dolphin's tail, okay? Now, let's head back to our dolphin's beak. I want you to make a line for his mouth. There you go. And then give him a little eye, right there. Now, the underneath part of a dolphin might be a little bit um, different, a different shade. So if you wanna make like a, a little line here, you can. We're going to add a dolphin's fin. So I want you just to make um, a curved line out and then back in. And that would be the dolphin on one side of its body, but we need to make one for the other side. So just go over here and make a smaller uh, curved line for the fin on the other side. And now let's go up and make a fin on the top, okay? We're gonna make a curved line over and bring it back down. Awesome, well we need to color our dolphin so it looks like a real dolphin. So I'm gonna take my gray crayon. I'm gonna make my dolphin gray, but remember we said dolphins can be a, a bluish, uh, grayish color, they can be black and white, and they can even be pink if you're making a Amazon River dolphin. So I'm gonna color mine in really good while you color yours in. You could always make a couple of dolphins. Do you remember what a group of dolphins is called? A pod, yeah. So you could make a couple dolphins, maybe even make a baby dolphin, that would be cute. Now, I want you, when you're all done, to take your dolphin and I want you to cut that dolphin out. I want you to cut around his body. So I'm going to cut right around, very carefully, around my dolphin's body. Now, if you have a popsicle stick or a straw or maybe a plastic spoon or fork or knife for this next part and some tape, we are going to turn our dolphin into kind of like a, a puppet that's going to be able to jump through the ocean water. I gotta finish getting my dolphin cut out. Okay, so here's my dolphin. I think I might have made his beak a little weird, but that's okay. I'll, I'll probably make some more dolphins a little bit later on. Maybe I'll get better and better the more I practice. Okay, so I want you to take whatever you have, straw, popsicle stick, and we're going to flip our dolphin over and I want you to tape it to the back of the dolphin. So I'm gonna do that right now. And now my dolphin is, is able to, to move. I can make him jump. Do you see that? Well, let's take another piece of paper and let's make an ocean. So I, I already got started on mine. If you have another piece of paper, uh, I had cardstock, which is a little bit thicker. Thicker paper kind of helps with this next part, but it's okay if you just have regular. I drew an ocean. I made my waves by making some curvy lines that are connected, and I colored it in with some blue and green. I made a sun in the sky. And now we want to make our dolphin be able to jump. So what we have to do is we have to very carefully cut 
along the top part of our ocean. So I got mine started. Now, you don't want to start all the way at the end of your paper. If you do, you're just going to have uh, a sky, a separate piece of sky, an ocean. That, that's not what we want. So have mom or dad help you start right about in here, and they're going to cut. Let me show you what I mean. I already kind of got mine started. You're going to just cut around the waves. And I, you may have to kind of keep going in and out with your scissors, moms and dads. Kiddos, this part's a little tricky. It's tricky enough for a grown-up, so you can give it a try on your own. I love when kiddos try to do something on their own, but if you need a little bit of help, that is okay. Now, I don't want to go all the way to the end, because remember, if I go all the way to the end, it's going to separate my sky from my ocean. I'll just have two pieces of paper. Okay, but now that I have that cut a little bit, I can take my dolphin puppet and I can stick him underneath here and check this out. I can make him jump out of the water and go back down in. Isn't that cool? Let me show you again. Okay, let me see. He's sticking his beak up out of the water. Oh, and he's going to jump up and dive back down. I bet you could make your dolphin do tricks and all kinds of cool things. Well, I hope you had fun. Remember, maybe make a couple dolphins. I'm going to keep practicing and see if I can get better, better at drawing a dolphin. Okay, see you later, kiddos.